Hello and welcome to Stop Gaps Home Practice. This is a contemporary dance class in three parts with a theme of focus. Hello, I'm Lucy and we haven't got much time so I'm going to get moving right away. If you need a visual description of myself and the room that I'm in, check out the description below. There's a light theme of focus to this session and we're going to start with some guided improvisation. I'm interested in that clear focus that we often have to use when we're performing and then also that dreamlike soft focus when we become quite insular in our improvisation. So we're going to start by simply sensing, scanning the room that you're in and moving the skull and loosening up the back of the neck as you let your eyes lead the way. If you're not a sighted dancer, I'm interested in the skull moving. So let the noises of your room or the sound of your space guide your skull and follow your curiosity. And as you follow your curiosity, let's get a little bit into our folds in our ankles or our wrists. And let's connect a little bit with the base, the surface that supports us, whether that is our chair or the floor. All the while scanning, sensing your room. It's almost like there's a camera on your skull or that your ears are sound recorders. You can close in, pan away, sense the space. I'm going to stop talking now and leave you with the music and then I'll count you back in to join for the next part of the improvisation. The music sounds like a rainy Monday morning. sense of space, that camera or that sound recorder down our spinal column into our centre, wherever that is for you. And you can imagine that you can film your room or listen with your centre. And if that is all feeling a little bit unusual for you, I'm simply asking you to move your centre and be guided by the centre of your torso, your available working spine. And again, maybe this will get us a little bit deeper into our folds as we film the room. And again, I'm going to leave you with the music and then I will count us back in to finalise the improvisation. 
improvisation. Here we go, have a play and explore. Imagine that this camera, this sensitivity is coming to our palms and maybe if you've got room for more into the soles of your feet and what I like about this is now you can really close up on the contours of your body and you can play with the space between as you film Maybe those parts of the body that you haven't actually been able to give attention to in this warm-up. And if eyes on the soles of your feet, on the soles of your hand, you're not really feeling it, essentially I just want you to move those hands, move those feet and start to get a bit of a full body experience with filming the belly, the skull, and the extremities. I'm gonna leave you with the music, get what you need, and then I'll count you back. for the next exercise. So we're going to move on to a spine in motion exercise. It's quite a juicy exercise, quite long and I'd really encourage you to pause the video when you need to to practice. Ideally I'd like you to become familiar with this exercise because I'm interested in that soft focus that you find when the movement is really fluid and you're just kind of dancing and not worrying about where you're looking. It's going to be taught in three parts and um, if you need a full version for a translation or a visual description just move on to the next timestamp and if you are translating use my spine as a guide for your translation. So let's find working position. I'm in parallel my collarbone is aiming to be wide, my skull floating up, my shoulder blades falling down the back space. Deep breath in and let it go. Here we go. I'm going to dip my first side down with a little micro bend, scoop my first side arm up and over in a rainbow. And then I'm going to let my skull carry that circle round towards the screen and then I'm going to roll up through the spine, finding a balance on my first side, my knee, my chin and my arms are floating. I'm in what's called third position in classical dance which means my first arm is reaching out to the side and my second arm is in a curve towards the screen. From here I'm just going to swap that shape of arms and if you're a standing dancer, you're going to brush 
that first leg in and transfer the weight onto the first side with the second side heel released. From here, I'm going to send my fingers towards the screen into a spiral, wrapping around my waist and looking behind myself. And if you're a standing dancer, I'd like you to slide that second leg out into a lunge so that you're looking at your back heel. From here, there's some resistance and you're going to find a brush on your waist with the palms of your hands. And as you do that, you're going to shoot back and let the arms fling forward. And they're in a right angle. My first arm is reaching to the screen. My second arm is out to the side and I've got one long leg in front. And then from here, I'm just going to recover back to neutral. And that's the first part. You have two lots of eight and how you travel through that two lots of eight, I don't mind. The counts are not important here. What's important is the spine and that fluidity and soft focus. Let's try one more time. Dip, scoop, up and over, curve round to the front, rolling up through the spine, finding a balance, floating the knee and the arms. Swap the arms into another third, send them around into a spiral, brush, whoosh, recover to neutral. Let's try on the other side, scoop, up and over. Head takes that circle round to float. Swap and brush in. Spiral, look behind. Brush and recover. It's always funny going on the second side, isn't it? It's a bit like driving on the other side of the road. You know, you've just got to train your brain and say, it's okay, it's okay. It just feels a little bit different. Okay. Shall we add on part two? So we've just come back to neutral. This time we're going to take a coordinated arm circle to that first side, up and over to the second side into a C curve where my hip is trying to lift up towards my skull. And if you feel like a banana, you're in the right place. And then from here I'm going to push or guide the air in front of me around as again I wrap around my waist and my head takes a body roll all the way around softening down into a fold I'm looking at my belly button from here the top of the head reaches towards the screen into a forward stretch and my arms go into an aeroplane and then I'm going to release down gather the air in front of me roll up through the spine hugging lifting the elbows and the chin to the sky. Lots of space in the waist and I'm not tensing in my shoulders as I bring this hug up. I'm trying to find space between my chin and my collarbone. That was part two. Pause and practice if you need to. Again, it was two lots of eight. It's quite steady and you can find your way through that two lots of eight. Here we go again. Coordinated arm circle into a C curve. Push the air, wrap around the waist, body roll, soften. We're going into a forward stretch, arms like an aeroplane, hanging over, gathering the air, hugging, elbows lift, and release. Try on the other side. Coordinated arm circle into the C curve. Push the air, wrap, body roll to the back side, front melt into a forward stretch. Arms floating to the side, gather. Other arm on top this time as you hug, lifting the elbows, chin open, and recover. Put them together. We'll also bring a little bit of music in here for you. And the music sounds a bit like an autumnal guitar with an exquisite Swiss clock in the background. Here we go. First side. And dipping down. 
and recovering round. Finding the float and swapping over. Send the hands around to the waist. Brush, recover. Coordinated arm circle. And push the air, spiral and melt. Forward stretch, gather. Hug, stretch to the sky, and recover. Really nice. Let's do part three now. So we've just finished with these hug to the sky. From here, the top arm's gonna open as you look behind to your back space, reaching with those fingertips. These fingertips then guide you around and lead the hand round to the back of the neck, and you do a head roll to the back side front. You can then use this hand to brush your chest as you soften it. Again, we go into that forward stretch that we did earlier, aeroplane arms. But here, I want you to take the challenge and reach a little bit further off your balance point and then release hanging over like wet washing, hanging over a washing line. And then from here, it's as if there are strings attached to our fingers and our palms are gonna lead the torso up to an upright position. And it's like you're surrendering, palms to the screen. And to finish, we release one side and then the other. So that was part three. And again, it's in two lots of eight. So you've got your hug. You open the top arm, looking behind you. Fingertips lead back of the neck leads you into a body roll, melting the chest into a forward stretch. Reach to the screen and hang over. And then a little micro bend as those fingertips lead you up to an upright position. Release, release. And that's the whole thing. So pause and practice if you need to. I'm just gonna put those three parts together. And I'll put those three parts together with a audio description. And if you want to, mark it through, first side, second side, and then we'll do it all together. So here we go with the music. Deep breath in and out. Five, six, seven, eight. An arm overhead, creasing in the waist, skull bows forward, spine rolls up. Skull, knee and chin float. Open arms wave across torso. Hands lead wide, spiral, skull follows. Hands brush waist, lower body pushes back. Parallel arms arc this time. Faster spiral into body roll. Arms extend sideways, skull in a forward stretch. Arms gather and close the space, hugging chest, elbows point up. Spiral to back, opening armpit. Fingers reverse the spiral into a head roll. Chest and face melt. Repeat, forward stretch, arms sideways like wings, breath, reach forwards, drop, hang down, fingers float up, body follows. And as if the strings are cut, one arm falls, then the other. Okay, so hopefully you've paused and practiced. You've done it on the first side and the second side. We're now gonna try it all together. We'll do it once through, I'll give you some feedback, and then we'll do it again, just to finish off this juicy, quite long exercise. Deep breath in and out. Ready, off we go.
rounded arm circle and spiral. Soften the chest, forward stretch and gather. Opening. Lead those fingers round, head roll. Soften the chest, forward stretch. Hips come up. Release, release. Really nice. We're going to do it again. First side, second side. Don't worry if you get out of time with the music. It's not about the rhythm. It's about that sense of fluidity and finding your flow in these circles. If you want an extra challenge, you can start playing with your bass, moving and connecting to the floor or your seat and really reach out of your bubble now. So let's start in our working position. Last time through, first side, second side. Off we go and scoop. Finding that balance. Swapping. Spiral. Brush. Parallel arms going up and over, press the air, body roll, melt, stretch, gather, find that hug, coming back down, opening that top arm, fingertips lead, back of the neck, head roll, soften, forward stretch, Reach and drop. Fingertips. Get ready for the second side. Off we go. Coordinated arm circle. Body roll. Stretch. Gather. Oh, open it up. Head roll. Soften. Stretch. Reach to the screen. Fingertips lead. Surrender those hands. Release, release. Really nice. Grab a drink if you need to, and we'll move on to the next exercise. So we're gonna move on to a final dance phrase. It's got a focus on articulation with that clear focus that we're sometimes asked to do in performances. I'm working a lot with precision and footwork. So if you're translating, make sure you're really precise with that connection to the surface that supports you. If you're translating, use the rhythm and the direction to guide your translation. And also give yourself permission to edit. It's quite fast. So you can take things out and then join in with particular accents or what we call hooks. So let's get started. Find a working position. I'm in parallel, I'm upright, and I'm gonna take two bounces. You can take it in the shoulder, or you can take it in the ankle, a little fold. Boing, boing. I'm gonna press out to the side. One, two. If you're using a chair, go for pressing precisely into those tires. And then I want you to find a transference of weight. So a shift and a bit of a tilt. I'm finding a balance. I'm lifting up my second side, and then as if the floor is a magnet, it pulls me back down. Let's try again. Boing, boing, press, press, and down. From here, there are two switches to the diagonal. First diagonal, second diagonal, yeah? So to the corner, switch, switch, yeah? And um, I want you to think about your focus here. Almost let your eye line or your skull go before your torso. 
Yeah? Let's carry on. So you've got a count of six to get round in a, in a turn back round to that first corner or that first diagonal. Now, you can challenge yourself, wait for a count of two, look to the corner that you're going to and then find a very snappy turn to get to that corner. Or if you're working on carpet, you need a bit more time to turn, take the full six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. It might even be faster than that, actually. So let's go from the top, ready from the bounces. And bounce, bounce, press, press, lean there, switch, switch. One, two, look, three, turn. We're here by six. How was that? One more time. Here we go. Ready, and bounce, bounce, press, press, whoosh, ha, switch, switch, one, two, look, three, turn, four, five, six. Yeah? From here, we're going to imagine that there's water in our ears and we need to get it out. It's quite a quick knock of the head. My skull is going down to the ground and my knee is kind of, it's not really floating up, it's kind of nudging up. Yeah? And that's seven, eight. So we're here. Five, six, knock seven, recover eight. We're back in neutral working position. So that side that you've just lent to with your ear is now going to do a head roll towards that way. So you're going to lean to the back space, come round to the screen with that head. And if you're a standing dancer, I'd like you to imagine that your opposite heel or instep is attached to that skull that's doing a head roll to the back. So it feels a little bit like a tail. And you've got a count of three, four, one, two, three, and then on four, we're gonna head bang in a lunge. Yes, and I'm in this crossed lunge. So my second side leg is in front and I'm in a lunge. Here we go. One, two, three, boom. Don't worry if you fall over. It's so fast, no one will notice. Okay, so let's go from the top, from the bounces. Five, six, seven, eight. Bounce, bounce, press, press. Up we go, switch, switch. One, two, look, three, turn, four, five, six. Knock it out. <sighs> Bang. Okay, pause and practice. When you're working with a quick tempo, it's really good to just practice in that quick tempo. Cut it into small bites and just practice, practice, practice. If you practice it slow, your body gets used to that tempo. So try, just go straight in with the fast stuff or edit it out. Meet us on the accents. Meet us on that head bang, boom. Yeah, meet us on that knock, boom. Meet us on those switches. One more from the top and then we'll add on. Five, six, seven, eight. Bounce, bounce, ba, ba, sh, da, switch, switch. One, two, three, ha, ha. Knock it, one, two, three, head bang. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more on before we find the music. So, we're here. We've got a throw of the arms on the seven and a shift back on the five, six. So you've got five, six, seven. And my shift back is a brush of my front leg into a little hop with a long leg out the back. And my arms are kind of throwing towards the opposite corner that my leg is pointing to. And the reason I'm doing that is my colleagues in stopgap, when they shift back, they need to put their hands on their tires before they can freewheel and throw their arms. So for a standing dancer, it might feel a bit uncoordinated to do that. But that's what we're working for in stop gap when we're working on unison together. So it's good for us to practice. So we've got a brush and then the throw on the seven. I'm in a long or wide lunge now. I'm going to transfer the weight onto my back leg, lift my elbow and knee again. From here, I'm going to send the fingertips down, scooping. I'm going to cross the leg behind and my arms are then going to rotate into a kind of half a infinity single symbol or half a figure of eight. And I'm gonna make a little window with my first side of my leg. It's 
It's a bit like a retiré in ballet before I step behind and step into a wide position. That was quite a lot, sorry. Uh, where do we go from? Head bang. Boom. From here, brushing back, throwing arms forward. Seven. Little balance and a lean back. Send the fingertips down, scoop, rotate, cross behind. Find a figure of eight with a retire or a window. Step behind into a wide shape. If you're translating, I really want you again to kind of maybe focus on the arms on this bit as opposed to the um, shifting backwards and forwards. Uh, should we try that much with the music? Yes, let's go for it. It's quite fast, so tell yourself you have all the time in the world, okay? Ready? Off we go. Bounce, bounce, press, press, up. Switch, switch, one, two, three. Knock it and head bang. Seven, lean. Yeah, how is that? It's quite fast. Let's do it a few more times. I'll keep the music running and begin to find that clear focus. Here we go. And press, press up. Switch, switch. One, two, three. Keep going. We're only going to do it on one side, so don't panic. Keep it contained. Keep it efficient, she says. Off we go. Off we go. Bounce, bounce, press, press. Ha. Switch, switch, one, two, look. Knock, circle, bang, brush, scoop, figure of eight. Really good. Okay, last tiny little bit. You're going to imagine that there's a string attached to your knuckles. It's going to pull it to the second side, the second corner across your body up high. And then there's the string attached to your other side. It's going to pull you across your body low to the first side, but you're not going to look at it. So you're actively looking away and then your skull on the next count finds that knuckle and it's looking down towards the ground. So we've just done our figure of eight, step behind, wide shape. We get pulled to the second downstage up corner. We get pulled to the upstage first lower corner. And at the last minute, we look. From here, this is a little translation of one of Nadan's favorite um, moves. I don't know if you've watched any of his episodes, but it'll be the one where he places his hands on the ground and then he lifts his pelvis and his back wheels up and over. And my translation is, I press my hands together and I use that as if I'm opening, um, uh, what are those doors, rotating doors. And I'm going to turn as if I'm chasing my tail. So my hands are trying to reach for my foot as I turn, a little bit like a dog chasing its tail. And then we do one turn. And we're going to finish with that palm surrender to the screen that we did in the earlier exercise. And that's it. So let's go from the uh, head bang. We've head banged. We're going to shift back and throw on the seven. We're going to lean back to our back leg and lift the front leg and the elbow up, dropping down, scooping, rotating the arms long, Half a figure of eight, step behind, reach, pull, pull, look, press, turn, and surrender. Of course, it's going to be faster than that, isn't it? Here we go. Head bang. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, boom, dee, da. Push around, seven, eight. One, two. Yeah? Let's have the music. Have a few goes and then we'll try all together. Tell yourself all the time in the world. Keep it relaxed, don't block it. Ready, steady, off we go. Bounce, bounce, press, press, up. Switch, switch, one, two, look. Knock, head roll, head bang. Seven, lean back, scoop, and pull, pull, look. Press it round, surrender. Have a little bit more of a practice. If you've got room for more, go on the second side, but I'm just gonna keep going, and then we'll do it all together. If you need to know where those accents are, we've got head bang, we've got a throw, we've got a pull, and then we've got a surrender. Try and find those prominent moments and how you get in between those moments, that's okay. This is your home practice. Okay, we're gonna try all together, twice through. Let's have some fun, and then that'll be the end of the session. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and hop, switch, switch, look, hop, bang, lean, head, one, really nice, one more time. Switch, switch, one, two, look. Knock. Head bang. And clear focus to finish. Really nice. If you want to keep practicing, rewind the video, have another go. If you've got to get on with your day, super busy, fair enough. You've done your daily practice, so well done. I hope you've enjoyed this session. Please like, subscribe, and check out our other playlists on our YouTube channel.